I'm Dante Bosco, uh, director, producer of Fabulous Filipino Brothers. I also play the role of Duke. I'm Derek Bosco, I play the part of Deo in the movie. I'm Darian Bosco, I play Danny Boy in the film, also a writer. What's up, Dionisio Bosco, I was also a writer, and uh, I played David in the film. The Fabulous Filipino Brothers is a movie, four brothers, four vignettes, a linear sto story told out of order, all surrounding a Filipino wedding. And so it's just these four brothers and just kind of like the crazy, fabulous things that happen to them all around uh, this really, you know, important time in, in someone's life. And our family actually plays our family in the film. Yeah. Our parents play our parents, our sister's in it. Yep. Is that Ariana actually helped write too, she was one of the writers on it. We got to go into our hometown of Pittsburgh, California and shoot in Pittsburgh. And again, it becomes like a love letter to our town, yeah. To our, where we're from. And then we also got fortunate to also shoot in the Philippines for one of the vignettes and got, as Filipino Americans, got to connect with Homeland. Working with our parents was fun, you know? And as we started working, they wanted more lines. Right. And <laughs> Definitely. They, they... That was surprising for my dad, who doesn't speak so much. But then when we started filming, he wanted more lines. Right? More lines. <laughs> he wanted more lines. But then when the camera rolled, he was like, oh, <laughs> that was my line. He's, he's he took me aside one day and he said, I think I have more I want to say. <laughs> and I said, Dad, you do have more that you want to say and you're going to say it. We may not shoot it, <laughs> say but it your... as your character, of course, that's not all the stuff your character is saying. I mean, there's tons of things he wants to say. Think it. <laughs> the camera's on you, even when you're not talking, so you can say those lines in your head. Yeah. We had a lot of fun. A lot of fun. We had a lot of Too fun. Much fun yeah. uh, because afterwards, uh, my aunt Pinky, we would go to her house and she would make a big Filipino dinner, and we'd eat and we'd drink. My mom got a tattoo. Everybody. It was like a big party. And then a family party. We, yeah, family party. And then we would go rehearse, and, and then we go back and shoot twelve hours, and it, it was just yeah. Yeah. it was just a magical two weeks that we shot in our hometown. On top of the magical week in the Philippines. You know, we've all been in the industry now for over thirty-five years, and and I've been producing Asian American film for the last decade and so my first you know bat at directing of course I just try to do what I tell like the young filmmakers out there like write what you know and of course work with the best actors you can work with and so my brothers are right there and we really wrote this film these parts everyone's a leader their own vignette and kind of like lean into the strengths of each of these guys the great thing is we have such a shorthand because we of course we were brothers so we grew up with each other but we've also studied with each other for over 20 years and so we've seen all of each other's other perform all of each other's performances since we were kids in grade school or b-boys breakdancing to film and television and theater today and so we we know the things that everyone can do but not only that we know the things that even this town has not hired us to do for money but have done in acting classes and done in theater and small and so like let's do those things and and not only that it's really a personal story it's based on all the vignettes are based on personal stories from our, our family and friends lives so it's really it almost feels like everything we've done in, in the last 35 years has led us up to making the fabulous Filipino brothers. Right. Yeah.